boy, it sure is good to be back to death arena after a midseason finale with Vanny and versus Sammy. It was a long way before they returned. How was the first fight then? It was pretty good overall. To start with the analysis, Molina's was very in depth with their story and abilities, starting with her story and the connection that for a connection and getting her into her abilities. Her cannibalistic tendencies are a nice say, and way to turn her mouth. mouth with the leading feeling of fear going into her ability. Her lack of tactics being her doubt on Paul pinpointed her connections with Bowser Jr. Though they didn't mention who Shinox is or why her stealing from him was impressive. Besides that, very silent. Junior is, is more flawed. His backstory was very well explained for the most part. Hard, but they mentioned this thing called Samk Blah, or us, it, which didn't happen in the battle, or of the conclusion. Same thing actually happened again with another thing called the Wonder Junior from the new Mario Wonder game. This didn't why it wasn't in the animation, but still published in Legend. Oh, and by the way, both of the endpoints are pity. How much to note about them? Now onto the animation. The opening drags a little bit, but for the most part, it's pretty nice. I like, like the fact that Junior's personality and... And uh, Molo Man's... And Devotionally interact in such a interact in that way. They have a really nice dynamic. But from the beginning to the end of the... Fight's dynamic is actually pretty well shown. Junior uses his tools to overpower Molina, while Molina can, can, would already be the better fighter because of her f superior physicality. Anyway, once he gets into the jungles, wh is when things gets a bit crazy. He get, gets a bit egotistical, and you and thinks that the explosion from the clown car will kill her, her no problem. But thanks to her. Her uh, superior biology and physicality, she's able to live and switch league buyers. But and Junior, you're old, tries to avoid it, but ultimately gets hit hit with a one-two punch. Punch by Molina, seeing. And um, luckily for Junior, he can quick scheme again and turn himself into a Shadow Mario for a greater chance against Molina. This one does hold. He's on for a bit, but ultimately Molina is still superior, her fighter, and easily and takes out Shao Mario before going to visible, but the bullet using the ruin powers on him, weakening him. Seeing her moment, Molina goes it's in for the kill, first dashing it into Mario and to Shadow Mario, turning him back to Bowser Jr., and then grabbing Bowser Jr. Jr. by the head. And this moment, Junior should be as good as dead. Well, he knows is the superior fighter, and she, and he's tired. There's no getting out of this. But the thing is, Molina's immaturity gets the best of her, and then she, he talks, giving Junior enough time to set up a cannon. Now Molina's messed up, and now she's going to play the crypt place. Junior's about his clown's part, and she, he's going to, to fuel the pain now. But unlike Junior, she can't get out of this cult near-death experience and ultimately succumbs to the clown car's phys superior physicality. I love it compared to her, her human body. Well, half you remember so. Always a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, Ghostface versus the Imposter is pretty tight. Not going to lie, was 